Iraqis have been waiting for a change. Taxi drivers are no exception. They say the recent unrest has worsened an already overstretched transportation system. Roads are so crowded, so jammed. Our work has been affected. We spend long hours to get a few passengers. With this crisis, men are reluctant to travel to Baghdad. Most of the roads are blocked because of the security measures imposed following the demonstrations. We have to make turns that take hours within. Iraq's political system is in crisis. There hasn't been a government for nine months. Parliament has been occupied by supporters of influential Shia leader Muqtada Sadr. He and his backers reject the nomination of Muhammad Shia Sudani for prime minister. And those who support the rival, the coordination framework, have staged counter-protests. Eventually, what Sadr did is that he actually provoked the coordination frame by saying, OK, I want, I want to change the, the whole political process. So what the coordination frame is that he made demonstrations and show the Sadrist is that we are capable to go to the edge. So that means eventually there will be negotiations. So that's it. It's eventually a political game. It's not really going forward for some sort of reform for the whole political process. This political standoff has disrupted work across several state institutions. Iraqis are facing scorching summer temperatures and possibly weeks of political unrest. Many have been hoping for a new government that can enhance services and improve their lives. Although it's an oil-rich country, Iraq remains one of the least developed nations in the world. Poverty and unemployment are on the rise. We count on new authorities to create jobs. We need jobs. We have been waiting for so long. People here were hopeful for a change, especially after last October's elections. But recent events have overshadowed those hopes. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.